Hello, this is David D. Hilster. I'm a critical thinker, science dissident, and I'm here to tell you the truth about science. Something your university professor won't tell you, the mass media won't tell you, and certainly the science evangelists will not tell you. So today I'm going to talk about Stephen Hawking and 32 top scientists who just signed a heated letter on the universe's origin. Now, I usually can't even get past the title, and that's what's happening here. The universe's origin. What this means is that it had a beginning. Now, I'm not a religious person. I don't uh, diss anybody who is religious. But scientifically, who says that the universe had to have an origin, have a beginning? Who said that? The Big Bang, of course, is an idea, is a theory. But that seems very strange to me right away. I just don't think the universe has disappeared. Where did it go? Where was it when it wasn't? Uh, what the heck does that mean? And let's uh, read this article. For centuries, people have puzzled over how the universe began. I've already talked about that. The universe has always been here. I don't believe there was some place when there wasn't a the universe. But the heat just got turned way up on the debate that's quietly been raging between cosmologists, with 33 of the world's most famous physicists pu publishing a a letter angrily defending one of the leading hypotheses we have for the origin of the universe. Well, what is the 33 most famous physicists? Who, who, who does this? Is there like a tri tri tribu tribunal somewhere on the earth where we gather together and choose these people? If I looked at them and I talked with them, I wouldn't probably put any of them on because they're all just basically saying what they what they are taught they don't they don't have critical thinking in their body not even a, a molecule and so that's what does that mean does that mean we do science by consensus of voting um, folks we should be looking at data not caring who the heck signs this letter and what's the letter where's the letter where is it sent to uh, is it twi uh, on Twitter I don't know and angrily, angrily defending. Uh, I guess, just get angry. This is just bizarre as heck. This letter is in response to a scientific American feature published back in February, in which three physicists heavily criticize inflationary th inflation theory. They have heavily criticized inflation theory. Of course, that requires an anger, angrily angry defense. The idea that the universe expanded just like a balloon shortly after the Big Bang. So they're criticizing that idea. The article also went on to claim that the model cannot be cannot be elevated using science, the scientific method. method. The, the equivalent, the, uh, the academic equivalent of saying it isn't even real science. It isn't real science. The Big Bang isn't real science. We see redshift, but redshift can be explained by a lot of other things other than everything's moving away. So I applaud them, and I applaud um, Scientific American for challenging them. Boy, but they've made people really mad. In response, of course, the 33 world's top physicists, including Stephen Hawking, Lisa Randall, Leonard Susskind, have fired back. This is like a war by publishing their own open letter in Scientific American. Of course, this sells lots of copies, I guess. Um, the Cliff Notes version is, is this. They're really angry. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I, I think what's most important for us to understand <laughs> is that these things are so far off. First of all, the idea that the universe has an origin, that the universe started in a Big Bang and what was there before if there wasn't universe. Uh, you know, there's all these kinds of problems with the Big Bang. Think about it. Sit down and think about it. The whole universe in a size like this. Okay, what's around it? Not universe? I can go on. Anyways, um, by the time it slowed down, what had been a tiny quivering quantum realm was stretched out into a smooth and flat uh, it looked smooth and flat save for spec speckles of denser matter that later became galaxy stars and planets 
uh, very quivering. It, they call this, this is what I like, here we go, Quiver, quivering quantum realm. This is the lingo of modern physics. It's vacuous. It's a bunch of fantasy. Their idea set always, always, always to make us feel stupid, talk in this language that looks magical. They want the universe to be this magic that we don't know about. This is, this is the exact opposite of what science should be. It shouldn't be magic. It should be feet on the ground engineering. That's why I always say engineers are physicists. Theoretical physicists are magicians, are voodoo, they're religious people, they're not scientists. Yeah, I said it. But anyways, um, we, we, can, we can go on, on with this and on with this, but uh, pretty much, again, I'm here to tell you, look at what, look and think about what you're reading. So this is just an article that I had to do a segment on. That's all for now. And remember, don't take what anyone says on faith. Stay critical, stay thinking. I'm David D. Hilster, your science therapist. Ciao for now.